The New England Patriots signed veteran quarterback Brian Hoyer on Sunday, which is potentially good news for Jarrett Stidham. I'm Sierra Goodwill here with Evan Lazar. I'm sure when Stidham got this news, looked at his phone, he had a little bit of a smile on his face because this means that they are potentially rolling with him as the starter for the 2020 season. Do you think he's ready for that? I think that that's the expectation right now, Sierra, just talking to some team sources that that's the plan right now is Jared Stidham. You're looking for the QB1 in New England, it's Jared Stidham as of right now. But nobody's going to just get the starting job in New England. It's Everything is earned there, obviously, so he will have to earn it. And just there's not a ton of a sample, obviously. It's just one preseason, a, some training camp practices that we got to see. I think the biggest thing that you see with Stidham, and I know that people hear this and they kind of roll their eyes at it, but the ball is just pretty. Like, the ball comes out of his hand really easily. He's got great arm strength, and the ball has good spin on it, good touch on it. It's a catchable football. And those are types of things that when you go and you see it in person, scouts will talk about all the time. Does he throw a catchable ball? And Stidham throws one of the better balls balls out of anybody in that draft class last year even though he's a fourth round pick he can really spin it so I think that that's the good news for the Patriots they have a guy with the functional abilities to be a starting quarterback in the NFL the arm strength the ball control the accuracy and the ball placement and those types of things I think the other thing that really turned out in his preseason tape that might have been a little bit of a surprise to people was his command already of the offense at the line of scrimmage and his ability to read defenses and get the offense out of bad plays. He was already doing that in week one against the Detroit Lions last August. He's already checking plays at the line of scrimmage, knowing defensive rotations and coverage rotations, where to go with the football, where to hit the receivers in certain areas of the field, and you know where to put the ball based off of the coverage exactly as well. So a lot of different types of mental aspects of the game. He was a little bit ahead of his time, I think, than what the Patriots expected, certainly ahead of other rookie quarterbacks that they've had over the years, guys like Jimmy Garoppolo or jo- Jacoby Brissett. They, he was well ahead of those players in this in his first training camp and in his first preseason. So it's all optimism right now for Jared Stidham, but it is a little bit, it's a little bit, you know, feel it doesn't feel great to put all those eggs in that one basket, but right now it's it's kind of where we're headed. And I know you expect the Patriots to draft a quarterback to promote that healthy competition with Stidham, but do you think that this move with bringing in Brian Hoyer and rolling with Stidham for the time being, do you think the Patriots are more now investing in the future instead of a win-now mode? Well, I think that this is a little bit of a rebuild. I mean, there's no other way to call it. You just lost the greatest quarterback of all time on your roster, and you're in a complete flux at the quarterback position. It's a rebuild, people. I know that you don't want to hear that, but that's what it is. I think the good news, though, for having a guy like Stidham be the starter, he's on that rookie contract where he's under team control for the next three years for under a million dollars a cap hit every single time. So I know the Patriots didn't have a ton of cap space this offseason, but just wait till next offseason, the offseason after that, when they start to clear out some of the veterans on this cap and get some of that cap flexibility back, they are going to have an offseason here in the short future where they have close to $90 million in cap space or something crazy like that where Belichick can really go out and spend and build this roster around Jared Stidham on a rookie contract where he's very, very affordable. So there's going to be a time, not the 2020 season necessarily. I think this is going to be, at least by Belichick standards, a little bit of a reset year. But I think by the 2021 season, you're going to see a lot of aggressiveness for the Patriots in adding talent around the quarterback position, knowing that they're only going to pay Jared Stidham $900,000 in the 2021 season. We'll keep you updated with all the Patriots moves and the impending NFL draft around the corner on our website at clnsmedia.com and on our YouTube channel at Patriots Press Pass.